All right, let's go over more amazing secret items you can find in Saints Row Reboot. Today, we'll take a look at even more weapons, including ones that are probably the most powerful in the entire game, a few more useful flying vehicles early on, and a special perk that lets you pretty much finally dual wield weapons for some pretty wild results. So let's begin. The first one on the list that you should get is definitely a very early on helicopter. Progressing through the story will eventually get you one anyway, but if you want one even earlier for free, there's a Thompson chopper you can find very close to the Saints HQ. It's going to be located back in the Monte Vista where you got the pretty nice supercars previously, and this time around you'll want to take up the right side here in the area until you reach this villa on the edge. If you go in the back side, there's going to be a landing pad pad that automatically spawns the helicopter for you from the very start of the game. Assuming you have also unlocked the helipad, this is going to give you the possibility to just go back to your HQ and store it right away. It's fully customizable, but unfortunately it lacks any firepower capabilities. So luckily enough, we're gonna use this for the next point, which is to get your very own attack helicopter. That's going to be done a little bit further away right here onto the west side of the map to the Marshall Prison, so you'll want to head over there. Once you reach the main courtyard, pay attention to the section onto the north side, specifically this one behind this container. In this spot right here, there's a chance for an attack helicopter to spawn right away. If you do not see it the first time, and if instead you see a different vehicle, simply just back over or go until that vehicle despawns and then move into the place again and just repeat this process until you have the attack helicopter spawning. From this point on, again, repeat the process, bring it back to your HQ and now it is yours. This one is probably the best helicopter in the game. It has a Gatling gun, it also shoots rockets, so you can pretty much lay waste on anything below you or if there's any other flying vehicle that attacks you, you can totally defend yourself. But moving on to number two, there's gonna be three of the best weapons that you can get from a side hustle also quite early on. And that's gonna be done from this one right here called Chop Lifting that starts on this side of the map. So if you complete this one progressively, you're going to get three very strong weapons, specifically after finishing off the first three in the sequence, the last three side hustles in the chain will give you the following weapons. So you're gonna get the MDI-77 auto rifle from the Badlands North one, the MDI-85 carbine from the one in Desert North, and the El Lanzador from the one in the El Dorado South region right here. So let's talk about the auto rifle first because this was definitely my favorite in the early stages. This comes with the signature ability called Swarm Tracer. Basically, it has a random chance to also fire a homing projectile when shooting for some extra damage and accuracy. These projectiles actually spawn very often, almost every time you shoot, and will always track the headshots, meaning that this is going to completely annihilate enemies. It probably is the strongest all rifle you can get in the entire Saints Row reboot, so if there's anything better, totally let me know down below in the comments. By the way, to unlock its signature ability, you do need to defeat 10 Martial Wranglers with it. So these are going to be these ones right here with the hats and the night vision goggles that look a little bit more threatening than the typical martial enemies. The second weapon is going to be the Carbine. This comes with the Flow State signature ability, which increases its damage the more flow you have. So this gets a perfect synergy with the In The Flow Minor perk, which already ensures that you never lose any flow and almost always have full bars right there. So if you combine this, you will get a fully upgraded version of this that just deals almost the maximum damage over there as you can see from the damage bar and it's also pretty precise you can shoot it from quite far away enemies will flinch back even do a backflip when you completely annihilate them so it's a really awesome alternative to the previous one Finally, we also have the El Lanzador, which is the big gun category weapon and basically the one that the Los Panteros mini bosses also use. Its signature ability is called the Major Impact and this causes also a shockwave that deals AoE damage and interrupts enemies on top of the normal damage that it already does. Its AoE is pretty great actually, the weapon is pretty much the best against the idols if you want to constantly interrupt them and if you find them annoying and also because they tend to group up a lot, you can easily take down multiple of them at the same time. But coming up to 
number three the next weapon is actually going to be better than all of these combined it comes even earlier in the game and it also has infinite uses and its literal translation is the holy fist of god so you acquired this from the bonus round achievement which requires you to finish just two early on history sites in the starting areas the first one is in the church located in east providence and you'll have to interact with all of the five storyboards around the church area to finish it the second one is going to be in the circle plaza right here in old town west quite close to your saints hq this one is even easier to complete as all of the remaining storyboards will be on the outskirts of that circle and once you're done with that you will complete the achievement including getting the fists which you can equip right away either back at your wardrobe or at any nearby gun store this will let you immediately dual wield a pair of extendable fist guns that are actually insanely powerful considering how goofy they look. The damage on them is absolutely amazing. It's also spammable by the way depending how fast you can click or press that button and the range on it is actually pretty sick. You can literally reach enemies almost as far as a regular pistol. The kicker here is that these do not have any ammo requirements so you can literally shoot them infinitely without having to worry about ammo any longer so totally an amazing option from the very start of the game. But coming up to number 4 as we've talked about dual wielding and as we've talked about in previous videos it's totally worth it to pay attention to the challenge tab and just unlock all of the new minor major and even the elite perks each time you complete a brand new challenge. There's gonna be over 20 of such perks in total that you're gonna be able to eventually unlock but probably the strongest one is the 20th exactly the number 20 which is going to unlock the possibility for you to dual wield weapons in the reboot this is going to be the dual wield major perk that lets you equip two of the same pistols or smgs i think it goes without saying how crazy that can be given how strong some of the one-handed options already are specifically the tech z10 smg that we talked about yesterday and how awesome it is with the fire shock and bleeding rounds it cycles through these and now you can equip pretty much two of them at the same time for even more damage since your magazine size doubles with a dual wield perk you're gonna be able to shoot this for way longer before reloading but at the same time it also depletes your ammo much faster Similarly, the Marshall Pistol that was already great for splash damage and AoE becomes even better since you're going to be able to like, just use two of them at the same time to destroy groups even faster. And finally, coming up to number 5, this has become literally one of my favorite vehicles in the entire reboot. It's called the Heavyweight Monster Truck and you don't actually have to do much in order to get this. So you can get this as well as many other similar vehicles from the spinning wheels that you're going to find all around the desert outskirts. Specifically for this one, you need just five of these spinning wheels in five specific locations. So here is how you find them. The first two, you're going to find them in the Rajas Desert North in the east side of the map. One is going to be around the center area right here in the middle of this lake. The second one is going to be in the same area but on the edge of it slightly to the northwest of the previous point. The third one you're going to be able to find in the Badlands North onto the second island right here onto the left side just across the city street. And finally the fourth and the fifth ones can be found down south. So the fourth one is going to be located right here by the dam really close to the edge of these big vents in the Rahas Desert South. And the final fifth one in the Badlands South just across the nearby casino area. What makes this so unique and badass at the same time is its massive skull that replaces the usual driver's cabin. So it looks really awesome, there's plenty of customization options in there to further like just emphasize how cool this looks and maybe even change it completely, there's plenty of options in there because once you do, monster trucks are pretty much the best ground vehicles when it comes to just causing straight up mayhem everything that you go over gets pancaked and if not it just explodes up in flames 
totally amazing to do that there's other really awesome vehicles in there that look very unique like for example the vindicator also comes from five of these spinning wheels and it's a really awesome retro looking vehicle with some really great boosting rockets in the back that yeah i just love the looks of Totally, let me know down below which one of these is your favorite. Are there any other secret vehicles or unlocks that you got in Saints Row Reboot? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.